from my mega, mega, mega log hard drive. Welcome back to the channel. If you're addicted to tablets, you come to the right place. Hi, my name is Nick. If it's your first time here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today we're going to test something different in a Mac Pro. It happens to be a 16 terabyte hard drive. Not only do I have one 16 terabyte hard drive, I've got four 16 terabyte hard drives. That's four times 16 terabytes equals 64 terabytes. Let's go. So we have our test Mac Pro with Mojave running in the background. We have our hard drive with multiple Mac OS's installed, as you can see here. And all the bays are empty, ready for all those hard drives. So let's open up one of the hard drives. Get one of the hard drive sleds slash brackets. And I think we've got a problem here. So the original hard drive sled holds anywhere from 80 gigabyte all the way up to four terabyte, I believe, is the maximum you can fit. As you can see there, the holes do not line up. So what you require is a special bracket. And luckily I've got some of those. These hard drive sleds or hard drive brackets as some people call them, are a little bit special. They actually have two extra holes as you can see there. Here's a standard bracket. The two extra holes you see there are for larger hard drives such as six terabyte, eight terabyte and above. The six terabyte hard drive might be the extra configuration or it might be the older configuration, I'm not too sure. I know the eight terabyte definitely has the new configuration. So these are not official Apple hard drive sleds. They are third party made. The screws come out a little bit easier and a little bit shorter than the normal Apple ones. And so they can be slotted in and out fairly easily ready to go. So as you can see there, the holes now line up. So these special brackets here are a non-genuine apple. They've got the extra screw hole there as you can see and no number on the front. So we're going to go ahead and screw this on. So ready to go. We have to shut down the machine first. start it up again. So we boot up into Mojave as you can see. It doesn't recognize the hard drive so we're going to initialize it. And here it is. So that is the uninitialized hard drive as you can see there. It's a the model number of the hard drive. It's a Western Digital 16 terabyte. I'll put a link in the description below. Arrays. 16 terabyte hard drive. Done. There's the 16 terabyte hard drive, and here's our backup drive, which is one of our partitions for our multiple Mac OS systems over here. And we're just going to copy all these installs onto the 16 terabyte. As you can see, there's 20 gigabyte, and it's going to take around about three minutes. And there you go. All finished on the 16 terabyte hard drive. So all three files copied there. So what we're going to do now is shut it down and install all the other hard drives. So we've got this 16 terabyte working. We've got three more brackets, three more 16 terabyte hard drives. I'm going to slot them all in and see if we can rate them. Let's pull this one out first.
one, two, three, four, 16 terabyte hard drives. As dodgy as that may seem, I have to temporarily put it in here so I can then boot up off one of these operating systems I have on my mega, mega, mega log hard drive. And I can do the RAID system with all these 16 terabyte hard drives. Don't know if you could hear that, but that was four by 16 terabyte hard drives starting up. As you can see there, three error messages have popped up all wanting to be initialized. So we have formatted one hard drive. So I'm going to click on this. So there's our four hard drives. One has been initialized. And we're just going to format the other ones now. As you can see there, that's our original hard drive. These are additional hard drives. So we've got all hard drives going. I'm just copying all these onto the rest of them. We are using a one terabyte Western Digital Black, which comes standard in a Mac Pro, as opposed to the new Western Digital 16 terabytes, which comes out of the server. I'll throw the specs up on screen. So as you can see there, it's gonna take around about 10 minutes, nine minutes, and seven minutes. We've got three simultaneous copies going at the same time, which slows everything down slightly. You do have to remember it is a 16 terabyte Western Digital hard drive, which is fairly new. The date over here is 2021. It's around about three years old. And it's plugged into the Mac Pro original backplane board or logic board, which has just got the original SATA 2 bus. So it is fairly slow. So all data has been copied across to all four drives, 16 terabytes each. So let's try one more thing. Try launching this utility thinking I can raid the four drives together, but under Mac OS 10.14 Mojave, I can't do it anymore. So I'm not too sure why I can't do it. I'm gonna try an earlier system, see how we go. I'll just try one back, which is 10.13.6. I've booted to 10.13.6 High Sierra, and here's my four 16 terabyte hard drives. I run this utility and I've got a RAID assistant here. Select the type of RAID I would like. So RAID 0 is striped, splits data evenly across two or more disks. Mirrored is RAID 1, an exact copy of a set of data on two or more disks. And concatenated or JBOT. Concatenated disk is not a RAID, it's a group of disks concatenated together for a purpose of creating a larger disk. Which one should we try? Let's try the RAID 0. I'm gonna use this one, this one, this one, and this one. 64 terabyte RAID 0. This is exactly what it is here. Ooh, chunks. We'll keep it on default. 32K is a chunk size, and it will delete everything on these four 16 terabytes. RAID's done. So here is the RAID. There's the four drives that's connected, and here's the RAID drive here. So if we open it, we should have 64 terabyte available. Woohoo! So we're gonna copy the same files. As you can see, it's taken around about three minutes again to copy all those files. All copied on the 64 terabyte with 63.98 terabyte available. Sounds great, doesn't it? I'm gonna see how far back this goes. So I'm gonna go as far back as 10.6.8, no limit. So let's boot to 10.6.8 and we'll see if we can see the 64 terabyte hard drive. So as you can see there, we booted into 10.6.8. I can see the 64 terabyte RAID zero. So I can see all three files here. Can't install them, but as you can see there, the install Mac OS Catalina is 8.3 gig. The install Mac OS High Sierra is 5.27 gig. And the install Mac OS Mojave is 6.09 gig. I've opened up my partition here, 10.6.8, and I have 15.1 gig free. So I'm gonna copy the install High Sierra 
to documents and I can't copy it. An error has occurred. Although I can see it, it can't copy it. So I'm gonna to boot to 10.7.5. So I booted to 10.7.5. I can see the 64 terabyte RAID zero, and I can see all three files again. I'll try and copy this installed macOS High Sierra file again into my 10.8 partition. And that's copying it really quick. So it's copied okay. Can't install it, but it did copy it this time. So I'm just gonna try and copy these files back to the 64 terabyte RAID zero. And that copied okay. Fine. So it seems at 10.7 upwards, it will work okay. So what we'll do now is just keep going up and just see if we can actually do a similar type of copy. And let's do this very quickly. 10.8.5 is the next one. So we're running 10.8.5. So it says there's three files there. Can't install any of them. But let's see if we can copy one of them to the 10.8.5 partition. Copy files back. All works fine. 10.9.5. Ten point nine point five, sixty four gig grade zero. So all files can be installed from ten point nine point five, I believe. Let's just start with High Sierra. It says High Sierra is damaged, so I can't run this one. Let's try Mojave. The Mojave installer works, but I need a metal capable card, which I don't have it in this machine. So Catalina won't work either. So maybe the High Sierra file is corrupt. I'm not too sure. I'll sort of try and copy the installed macOS High Sierra onto the 10.8 partition like I've been doing beforehand. So it's worked fine up to 10.9.5, so I'm just gonna run 10.10, 11 and 12 really quickly, just to make sure it's all okay. 10.10.5, Yosemite, 64 terabyte RAID zero. Ten point eleven point six El Capitan, sixty four terabyte RAID zero. Ten point twelve point six Sierra, sixty four terabyte RAID zero. I'm copying the same file over different operating systems, and it's all copying okay. Other than ten point six point eight, everything's been working fine. All the tests appeared okay. We're going to run 10.14.6 now and see if we can do the right thing again. Got this 64 terabyte RAID 0. We have to delete the RAID. Delete. Destroying the RAID set. And done. So in Mojave, we have the RAID Assistant in Dish Utility and we're creating a RAID 1. We're gonna use all four drives. But a pointless exercise because And that's it. I have a 16 terabyte RAID 1, which means all 16 terabyte hard drives are mirroring each other. I'll still copy all three files onto the 16 terabyte RAID 1. And it's taken around about three to four minutes as well. And that all worked okay. So one last test is a 10.68 RAID test. So let's just boot to that. So I'm back in 10.6.8 and I can see the 16 terabyte RAID 1. I wonder if I can copy to it. I'll try and copy this stuff to the 16 terabyte RAID 1. Hmm. 
can copy to it all right. It seems to be okay. So the right one seems to be okay. So let's see if I can actually copy from the 16 terabyte RAID 1. <laughs> no, I still get the error. Anyway, it was pretty good up to that point. I thought it could actually support 16 terabyte drives, 10.6.8. Anyway, I think I've had enough of RAID drives.